What is up guys, Sneaker Buddha coming back at you with another video. As you guys can see, my smile is ear to ear. I am so, so, so happy for these sneakers. And thank you Reebok for finally retroing this silhouette. And today we're looking at the Allen Iverson 4's Step Over Edition. Just to refresh your memory on what the step over was, that's when Allen Iverson cooked up Teron Lou in the 2001 NBA Finals against the Lakers and broke his ankle in front of his own bench. Had Teron Lou in awe, had the bench in awe, had Kobe in awe, had me in awe, had you in awe when he drained that shot. And just to add the cherry on top, Iverson says let's go ahead and create one of the most iconic moments in sporting history. When he stepped over him, and gave Teron Lou the meanest grill, like, you can't guard me, nobody can guard me, and nobody could guard Iverson in his prime. Iverson was known for his handles, he was known for his speed, he was known for his energy, he was known for scoring points, he led the league in steals, he is one of the best players of all time, hands down my favorite player, and I am so happy that they finally released these, so let's go ahead and take a look at him, because I can't reiterate how great he is, and you know what? He had some of the greatest sneakers too. Just starting off with the box, I love how they have the logo, the i3 logo with the signature right there. Also says Reebok. However, I feel like they could have made this box more luxurious. I feel like they could have just bombarded it with Allen Iverson, Allen Iverson, Allen Iverson, Allen Iverson, but that just might be my bias being put into this shoe. So let's go ahead and take a look at the shoe. As you guys can see, the shoe is uh, white on black leather with the I3 ridged right at the front and the I3 ridged on the inside too. Uh, you also have the strap at the front with the zipper that contains the laces. You have the legend himself at the bottom of the shoe, gray silhouette there. And you also have only the strong survive engraved here. He was one of the strongest players to ever play the game. You can even hear big men like Shaquille O'Neal talking about how they used to try to body him and he used to just come back for more. Now this colorway itself is so nice. Another thing that they incorporated, as you guys can see, it says DMX right there. That is the DMX technology that they actually have in the shoe. It is padded everywhere within the inside of the shoe. What it does is it absorbs all the impact that your foot's possibly gonna take. It is some high class cushioning for your foot and it is some of the best technology that they actually released in 2001. And the best part about it is, is that it's timeless. This technology was way ahead of its time when it was released, and that's why he had some of the best sneakers going on. And it's still relevant today, which is great to see because you can still rock these on the basketball court. Even though Reebok said that they were going more for a casual shoe just so you guys could retro these. On the back, one of my favorite features is that it says the Iverson. It's actually laminating gold over there, which I think is a great, great feature. The Eva Foam midsole is one of the best parts about this shoe itself because it gives you that extra cushioning on the outside of your foot and with every step you take. It's just very padded and very secure and that goes around the whole midsole. The outsole itself is actually just rubber. It is a rubber outsole giving you the best traction you could get. The best part about it is, is that it's non-marking rubber. Non-marking explains itself. You won't be leaving track marks anywhere on the court, anywhere on the floor. It's just gonna give you the best traction you could possibly get and you won't be scuffing anything along the way. All right guys, so that was a nice little short video for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys comment letting me know what kind of videos you guys want more. And if there's any other ideas that you guys want us to try, we'll be more than happy to do that. Go ahead and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Links will be in the description. And go ahead and visit us at sneakerbuddha.com. Like I said, any ideas you guys have, anything you guys want us to try, let us know. We'll be more than happy to try it. And even if there's comparisons between sneakers that you guys want us to look at, we'll be more than happy to look at that too and give you guys breakdowns on that. Sneaker boot out. Thanks for watching, guys.